keep possession of my car? Yes, we, we have it. We have it ordered. Unacceptable. Hey, what's the camera's doing here? Camera's here for my protection, okay? No, no, protection of what? This is my property. <laughs> the damn old tattoo you got. Huh? You heard me. The what? Me and Frenin had a little bit of altercation in the truck. Because obviously he's got a big mouth and he's always talking <laughs> And also <clears throat> mentioning about the tattoo that we have got, we had had gotten. The tattoo, the forbidden love tattoo. You always standing around in the office. I went there today. Oh, well, Freddie was showing in and he was showing off and he was talking about this and that and blah, blah, let me, blah, blah. Let me, okay. let me, let me reiterate. Something. When I met you, I wasn't 30. I never said you were 30. I said you were 28. Everybody I was 15. says, every. Don't even go there. Don't lie. I was 15, Chimenez, right? Yes, make I was right. 15. You were 28. And, you were in and obviously, just to let you guys know, a lot of the tattoos that he has, he copied me because I had them first. And then he copied them. Like my. My, my skulls, eh, he had to have the same skull to show me that. You know? Why? He could have got something different. That's my plate and that's my car right here. Which one? This one right here, Mr. Blind Man. Well, you Look just... Look the damn glasses! You don't say anything. You're like, oh, well, it's right here. You don't say, hey, slow down. All right, anyways, here's the paperwork. Well, take it with you and then the car, please. Yeah, I'll get the car. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Is that the plate, though? You know, when I first uh, got out of the car and I seen the woman, she was pretty attractive. She, you know, she's she's an older woman and she's attractive. Okay. Be possession of my car? Yes, we, we have it We have it ordered. Acceptable. It's Absolutely unacceptable. As soon as you pay for it, it'll be acceptable for me leaving it. Of course okay. I paid for it. Here comes this lady, loud as hell, start yelling. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You know, it's like a typical song to my ear. What am I doing? Well, I'm picking up your car. The car's I not for repo. No, no I have paid. Okay, the I car's not for repo. I have got the money to pay for this. Who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm a girlfriend. What's going on here? Okay. I this is your girlfriend? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, she hasn't made the car fit. No. So obviously, she had a problem with us. Well, what's that? Take that off my car and blah, 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 blah. That's all gravy. I said, you know what? If you have a receipt that you can show me, I'll leave the car. I give the benefit of the doubt. She goes, I have it. Pull it out then. And then who comes out of the house? Her lovely partner. First of all, you can direct, continue directly with me. I'm the one that's going to take this car because I'm already telling you I have an order for repossession. But you so can let's not make a big stink about it. Don't no, you don't, don't touch that. Okay, I have paid for this. Okay, you, this. Okay, you want to show me a receipt that shows you your currency? But this is, but this is not this your concern. Is this is, do you want to show me a receipt that that right now that is current? Show me the card. Are you going to pay for it? No, no. Then he starts getting involved and starts getting loud with Froyland, and then he starts getting too pushy with me. I told him, you better name put a hand on me. You better get the hell away from me. Then obviously he starts getting into it with Froyland, and I'm telling him, hey, you don't need to get involved. It's not your business. And I know how it is, because when I was married to Sonia, you know, anybody came up to her and said something, I jumped, and you know, I was like, they are ready to protect her because she's older than me, and I kind of feel for the kid, you know? I mean, he's a younger kid. He's got an older girlfriend, and, which happens to be hot. And of course, he's gonna try to get all jumpy and wants to be a man and you know stand his ground and be there for his woman. I understand. Unfortunately, this has nothing to do with him. 
don't want to have to. I don't want to have to spray you. I don't want to have to spray you. So you need to relax. This has nothing to do. Listen, this has nothing to do with you. This is. I'm telling your boyfriend to relax. I'm telling your boyfriend to relax. Everything starts getting heated. Unnecessary. We don't have to have heated moments like that because obviously, look it. She can't produce a receipt. Because if she would have produced it, I would have left the car. No problem. Hey, show me the receipt. I'm even taking the time out of my day to see the receipt. If you got to look for it in the house, well, make it quick because I'm going to take the car regardless. Obviously, she couldn't produce that neither. And the boyfriend obviously is on Ferdinand's tail. You need no, to relax. Okay, I'm not going to remove it. This this is is my my you car. need. So obviously, Ferlin can't take it anymore because this guy is really getting a little hostile. So what does he do? He pepper sprays him. Pepper sprays him, go down, the girl first starts getting all, you know, hysterical. Ah! Anyways, in that moment is when my opportune time came to snatch the keys out of this lady's hand. I don't want to pepper spray no one. I don't want to fight with no one. Um, the reason I took out the pepper spray on this one is because I did notice the kid was a younger guy um, who was protecting his loved one. And he started getting a little too pushy with Sonia. Everything was fine. The lady stayed there t talking her yapping and attending to her boyfriend. But you know what? This was all unnecessary, okay? Because first of all, he doesn't need to get involved. It's not his car. It's not under his name. And she knows better. She should have just handed me the keys. And I didn't really want to fight her too much because she was very thin, very dainty. I felt like when I grabbed her I, I, and touched her, I almost felt like I could break her bones, you know? Um, usually, like I said, I don't like snatching things from people's hands and arguing and fighting. It's just a job, man. I mean, we're there to do our job just like anyone else. It's like hating the cops because they arrest you because you did something wrong. You know, it's just a job. Obviously, as you can see, I'm driving this teeny weeny car that I barely fit. Maybe if I lose about 200 pounds, I might be able to fit in this car. I'm all squeezing and barely breathing. It's a good thing I didn't eat no breakfast. I didn't even eat no lunch, because had I not, had I eaten, oh man, I wouldn't be able to fit in that car. I would have been so full, I probably would have threw up all over that Volkswagen and go. It would have been a mess. I don't care, but they're still gonna take my it, it, wife. Don't look like this There's nothing that you can do about it, my, my wife, huh? You got the paperwork? Oh, yeah, that's what you got. What's the address? Lion Canyon, right? Royal Canyon. Nine, uh, 007. Are you serious? Yeah. No. <laughs> Nine, 007, Royal Canyon Boulevard. Nice. 2001, Harley Davidson Black. We got a plate and a bin. She's six months behind. Comments from Sonia says it's a girlfriend's bar. You know, I've, I've said it many times before that every time you're gonna go do a repo, you never know what you're gonna run into. All we knew about this repo was that we're looking for a Harley that belongs to a girl, which to me, that's just amazing. I love chicks that can ride bikes. I mean, especially on a Harley, there's nothing better than that, given that the girl looks good. Did you bring your helmet? Yeah, but you know what? This is a Harley, but you don't only ride sport bikes. So it's, it's, yeah. Huh? I got my bad dog right here. <laughs> Dude, that is not a Harley helmet. I know that. I don't uh, I don't usually ride Harleys. So why don't you bring a Harley helmet? I don't ride Harleys. I don't usually like to ride Harleys. I love to look at them, but I don't like riding them. I'm a sport bike kind of guy. Well, there's no bike in here. Check around back. I knew there was parking in the rear, and that's usually where people park their bikes when they go party at this particular establishment. All right, we got two bikes back here. Not neither one of them black though. Yeah, we actually found two bikes back there. Uh, one was a wannabe Harley, crotch rocket thing, and then the other one was a Harley. Do we have a plate? All right, bro, that's our plate. Which one? Plate. one on this is a Harley. That's an Indian. One on the left is ours. You serious? Yep. 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 Oh shit! Get your helmet. Yep. 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 Vinny, just in case though. Okay, no. But after venting it, license plate match. That was our bike. Yeah. Try it again? Well, it's a standard procedure that we have for doing anything, and that's to kind of be a little stealthy, if when at all possible. And I start trying to get into the truck, I hear him turn it on. I'm like, dude, are you like literally just asking for it? I mean, come on, this is like 
Repo 101, don't slam doors, don't make noise, don't let no one know you're there. And that's the first thing that he did. Are you Alicia? Okay. Are you Alicia? Yes. Okay, you haven't made your pain. Listen, let, 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 let it go. Let it go. I'm not going to let it go. This is your bike? Yes, this is my bike. Aren't you kind of small to be riding a bike? I don't give a f Let it go. Let it go. Okay. You haven't, made, go. you haven't made your payments? I don't care. Yes, I did. I did them yesterday. Did you just say you don't care? Now you, you know you made them yesterday? Hey, who the f are you? We're with the finance company. Who the f Let me see. I want to see the papers. That is fake. Get the out. Why is it fake? That is real. What happened? My, my, my Who are you? What happened? I'm fine. What happened here? Who is she? This f is trying to take my bike. Oh, 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 hey, oh, what's oh, up here? What did you call me? I called you f Call me. I called you f I don't really want to deal with her. She went straight to Matt, started grabbing the handlebar, started pulling, and she made the big mistake by calling uh, Matt a few names, and Matt took that very personal. Go back inside, oh finish your drink. Do whatever you're gonna do, man. Hey, you know what? I can't. Hey, hey dude. what's going on? Go back inside, you finish your drink. Who are you? Right now. Hey, you friends, and then another guy comes out, and it's like all of a sudden we've got everyone trying to figure out what's going on. Everyone wants a piece of it. That's funny, because I'm repoing her bike, and they want to know what we're doing. But if I was at their home trying to repo their stuff, they would have nothing to say. Besides, I already made the payment. When did you send the payment? Yesterday. Okay, they haven't received it then. If they received, did you send the whole six months? Uh, no, I sent half of it. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What happened Listen, to I don't, I don't want to get hurt. Listen, if you didn't send all the payment, then you're not going to get to keep the bike. As soon as you finish making all the six payments, plus the late fees, then you're going to get it back. I don't care, but they're still gonna take hey, my hey, bike. Don't talk like this There's nothing that you can do about my, it right now. My wife, huh? don't talk like this with my head. It's hard having to deal with one girl. I can't imagine how difficult it is to have a relationship with a woman and a woman together. Wait, Listen, wait. I don't care if she's your girlfriend, your wife, your sister, whatever. It has nothing to do with this. Honey, you don't have nothing to do with this. This money, is about her. I'm gonna give you the money last, uh, last year. I heard the girlfriend say something like, what happened to the money I gave you sometime? you know, last week or last month or whatever. And I'm like, oop, this is, this is just, uh, you know, <laughs> the regular typical thing that the girlfriend gives her money and she just goes and spends it and forgets about paying the bike. I just want to get it, get out of there. Please don't disrespect him, he's not disrespecting you. Yeah, yeah, listen, taking your bike. Listen, I'm the guy taking your bike. Listen, he's not this. You going to get the my bike. You go inside. What the fuck do you do with you? You need to go. Matt, just please, bro, please. Please, please. Yo, listen, listen, finish making all the payments that you owe, you're gonna get it back. You want your bike back, we're not gonna keep it. The finance company is not gonna keep it. They just wanna make sure that you make up the full payment, once they receive it, then you can get it back, okay? Hey, yeah, you! Hey, I give you the money, what happened to you, honey? I f***ing give it to those fools, they're fucking jacking me! Yeah, I like that. They got to the point where they were arguing with Matt and they were arguing with me. And all of a sudden, like a typical girl, just turned around and started arguing amongst themselves. And by that point, I'm like, dude, let's get out of here. Let him argue. What do you mean? F you. What happened to you? I give you the money. Does Matt literally like confrontation with people? Does he really not understand that you have to be stealthy? You have to think that don't make noise, don't be rowdy, get in, get out, be done with your job. I jumped the gun on the start, bro. Why'd you do that? Dude. You're supposed to push it out so they I can't know. hear it. What happened? I know. Give me the one. You know what, dude? He's got me so nervous anymore, Lou, with all this shit. All this shit is just making me insane. Wait, 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 wait. Do my favor. Cut the camera, bro. Please. Cut the camera already. I was more embarrassed about the way I handled that repo. Even though we got the bike, even though we got it without really too much shit, I was embarrassed. I did screw up. Go, 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 Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to a girl. Yeah, hey, I didn't say anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I What's the address again? 1116. And you said it's a pan, just G6. Uh, 
Oh, and we have a very charming young lady out front. Uh, I don't see no pun out there. Let's go take a look in the back, okay? Well, we'll talk to her? Go find no, we'll let you talk to her. <clears throat> Is your name Jenny Smith? Yeah. Can I talk to you for a second? I was thinking, damn, this girl is really thick and she looks kind of good. She just dressed a little differently, took a little better care of herself. Well, Matt might be uh, asking her out on a date or so. I think it's obvious why Matt likes this woman. When I use the word obvious, I mean, it was that. Let me ask you something, sir. Do you own a 2007 Pontiac G6 Black? What camera's doing here? Camera's here for my protection, okay? No, no, protection of what? This is my property. I know. Listen, we're here for the, for the we're car. We're here for the car. What car? The Pontiac, your car? No, 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 no. Listen, no, I'm no. here for me to recover. Um, the first thing she asked for the cameras, I was just about to try to calm her down by trying to be friendly with her right away when Matt opened his mouth and he says, Are you Jenny? We're looking for the car. This is a repo. Forget it. Everything went bad from there. Baby girl was just a little too charming for Matt's persona. So uh, I kind of tuned her out. It was like this barking chihuahua. You know, this barking chihuahua in your face. I really couldn't really hear what she was saying. Get these cameras out of here. What the f is this? There's no reason for this shit. Get the f out of here. 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 Get the f Hey, hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, I'm talking to you. Who are you talking to? You. We don't. Hey, do you have the car? Do you have the car? Do you have the car? We got the car. We got the car. Okay, well, all you have to do is make the film and you get it out. And I'm trying to tell him Matt to relax. I mean, our car is not even there. I don't see the car, so there's no reason to be arguing and fighting and yelling. I'm trying to calm everybody down. And it gets to the point where the guy is just like, you know what? That's fine. We'll give you the car. Hey, that's music to my ears. You're gonna tell me you gave me the car, you're gonna give me the keys? Beautiful. Well, it's okay, baby. Don't worry about it. Do my favor, step back, step back. Step back, step back. You guys need to step back. Get back off the property. Get off the property line, guys. Away, please. We don't know what's going on in the back. We don't know who lives in the back. We don't know anything about the back. But that's why I told the cameras to stay back. Not because of fear of them, but I told them to stay back because I didn't want to aggravate the situation anymore. All you have to do is make your payment. You're going to get it back. I don't know what it is about me, but I seem to provoke a violent behavior in people when they see me coming up to their house to talk to them about picking up their collateral. And it's obvious because, you know, I'll have to admit, I, I, for some reason, I seem to provoke a lot of anger in people. I don't know what that is. <laughs> there ain't no car back. I've been making a payment. I've been paying on my You need to Some guys came out, and, and first I didn't think anything, and all of a sudden I see that one of them's carrying a gun, and I didn't think much of it. But Matt turns around and he's like, "They have a gun, Freud, run!" Now, usually when you hear someone say, "There's a gun, run," hmm, what do you do? You run, because you don't know what's gonna happen. Oh shit! Dude, Dude they get... were armed to the teeth. I had to call Lou. Okay, get him on the phone. Get a foothill over to Asian right now over here. Dude, they freaking scared the shit out of me. And you know what? You seem to be able to run pretty quick. You're saying gun, <laughs> and I see what they got Did in their you hand. See it? Yes. You know, I know a lot of people are gonna look at this and say, you know, you guys are dumb. Why did you go to the back? I mean, <laughs> 
this is what we're there for. We're there to get our property, to get our car. And someone's telling you the car's parked in the back. I'm gonna give it to you. You're gonna go. Do my favor, make sure that the camera guys are okay. I don't like to call people names. I don't necessarily think that the person that pulls out a gun is less of a man. I mean, this is the world we live in. Uh, there's people that prefer to fight. There's people that prefer not to fight and just pull out a gun and shoot you. I mean, none of it is right. I mean, is it right for Matt to go and chuck the crap out of somebody that is less powerful than him? No, but he does it because that's what he knows best. There's people that that's how they protect themselves. They just pull out a gun and try to scare you. Hey, Lou, I have a big freaking situation. Um, I came to get the, the uh, G6 from uh, Genie Smith, the last repo of the day, and uh, we pull up to the place. You know, the neighborhood was not bad. It, uh, I was surprised at what happened. I mean, you know, there's a park right in front of the house, there's kids playing soccer and kids playing baseball. You didn't think this is a bad neighborhood. All right, dude, all I saw was a gun in the head. Did you see what kind of gun it was? One guy had a nine millimeter, one guy had an AK. I believe now, after reviewing some of the tape, they weren't gonna really shoot us. I think it was just an intimidation thing. You know, they're just trying to intimidate us. And it worked, it worked very well. You know what? Huh. You run into this account by yourself next. Right. <laughs> You're an ass. But I've told you before about my opinion on guys that carry guns. I, uh, I have no respect for anyone who pulls a gun on an unarmed man. To tell you the truth, you're the biggest I've ever met in my life. Now, I know we ran, but if you didn't have those guns, I'd have cracked heads, man, back there. <laughs>